they beat it. They beat Zhao 8's yeah. Enigma. And now they get to bring it into the semis. And their supports cannot really deal with the Enigma. Oh, I guess the yeah, Warlock's cool. okay. Let's just let him get that bottle coming out because you really want to snipe and if he, you beat him too hard in the mid lane, it comes too late, which is what's pretty much happened now. It's already upgraded. It's already flying. Oh, Skylark in some serious trouble. Does manage to get the spike carapace on some of that damage. Skylark is going to be run down underneath the tier 1 tower. Resolution oh. takes the shot, but he does die into the tier 1 in exchange. Of course, that experience not going to the Nyx Assassin is still okay, but... We'll see what Adfinim's move is going to be. The lanes are looking so good from there. They're not really under pressure to make any moves, but if they can get like a, a rotation out of Enigma, it's going to give them that much bigger of an edge. And a little bit of attempt at a block out there over that narrow staircase. Hoping to be able to keep Skylark and delay him just enough for Moon to come. Oh, oh nice bounce back. God. Skylark is going to end up falling here inside the river. Beautiful play by Moon Meander. It was just about to, uh, oh, we are, oh, there it is. Thug actually finished him off, that whirling death. The stat reduction stacking up, and Thug does manage to get that kill with the double damage. Maybe next time's already made his rotation, so they are going to set up for a potential four-man fight here. Resolution's already blowed the waveform, too. This is a perfect time for Adfinim to be able to come in from behind. Spartan's here. He will manage to get it before the Dragon Tail. No stopping that stun. They're going to be able to combo double kill for Skylark, and now they actually look for more. Misery's fast enough, he will get away, but Thug, look at that, he's got a haste through it, he's like, let's go, boys, let's dive that tier one tower, Misery's gonna be caught, he knows he's done for two, he's gonna throw out the pause, it seems like his mouse is dead, he wasn't doing anything there, so I thought <laughs> it was okay. too. I will die. <laughs> but uh, he wants to use that last bit of decay or whatever it yeah. may be, you know, get that bit of extra efficiency, but... Not gonna happen, though. Oh. Cut down and add Finnum, bring all five of their heroes down to the bottom, Lane. Winning that first fight really sets things well as Skylark gets level 6 off of it and this Fat Rider or the Morphling could be in some trouble. Infest ready to go. As long as they hit this Impale, there really shouldn't be any way for Moon Meander to get out. Misery's here too. They're going to pop it. And where's the Impale? They're actually going to go for Moon Meander. They missed the Impale. The slow is on to Misery. Looks like they try to get greedy and go for two different kills here, but Misery's going to be able to heal himself up. No Impale for another five seconds. They will be able to get the kill either way. Just running him down. Resolution with a waveform down for another six seconds. Moon Meander, he pops the Firefly, but that just leads him over to the Spike Carapace. Double kill for Madara. A bit of a bumble there by Ad Finum, but Swift Swiftly recovered. Skylark may have to give up his life. He's running deep into the side of Digital Chaos's map. He can fight 20 seconds. He's oh, got no. another vendetta. Okay, but he doesn't get hit by the waveform. He's okay. leap buying a lot of time. And, and they're not. Adfinum's just out farming them currently. So DC making a move and it needs to come. They've got the rock. They're ready to take a team fight of their own. Thug is going to be the first person moving forward, though, into this smoke, and he's a tanky one. They're going to try and lasso him up with all this magic damage. They might be able to bring him down. Misery nukes him a little bit more. Thug tries to make his way up, but can't quite get there. The Eidolons are big, and now a two-man black hole gets laid down. Modern's coming in from the side. He does get stunned up with the dragon tail, but both the victims of the black hole will fall first. Now Modern looks for two. Sox is the target, goes for the TP out. No chance in hell. Madara takes the killing spree, and they push forward through me. Skylark and Lifesteal just trying to roam around. Oh, find the a single scan, kill. it lasts just long enough. There's so a sentry. There are going to be sentries here. They might be able to catch, but Thug is making his first maneuver. Managed to push two of the heroes into the trees. Catches one right before the TP out. Oh, now the Moon comes forward, but he's already been caught. He gets right to the carapace. Three down for Digital Chaos. And Ad Venom just do not slow down. Maybe next time. Maybe fortunately, maybe unfortunately, he's not going to cut through this secret shop. He would have been the one to pop the smoke, but maybe... It's going to be his allies who are going to take the brunt of this initiation. Instead, sure enough, there goes Skylark, unable to get the spike hair face off in time. He still managed to get it towards the end of the last zone. It looks like a lot of Adfinim will manage to turn around and fight against that tombstone. They've already taken out that big team fighting item they and Digital nothing. Chaos. They look like they can't actually fight this one anymore. They've gotten the Nyx Assassin, yes, but they need to be able to find that quick numbers advantage. So having two types of initiation could be a boon for them. A resolution about to get caught. They're gonna try and burst him down. They have the black hole too if necessary. They eat through the Lincolns. Resolution makes his jump away onto the trees, but he does not have much mana to work with. He's gonna try and go for the TB, but the black hole will stop him. Finally, it will be expended by Spartan to kill the big carry of Digital Chaos. B if you feel like you can get up a BKB hole around the rock, but at Finum, they're not gonna let go. They wanna keep 
playing this fighting style Dota, and they are going to find Moon. Immediately swarming in, they're going to be able to pick off Moon instantly and be able to defend this tier 1 tower. The jump forward, maybe next time, does manage to catch the Morphling. He's got a replicate out. They're going to have to try and get someone else on the back lines. This is where Skylar comes in. He's got five seconds till his Blink Dagger is up. See if they can catch Misery here. Misery does manage to juke him out a little bit, but now the Blink Dagger finds him. Manages to sidestep the Impale. Doesn't look like Adfin are going to catch him, but maybe Soxa is going to be the one who's victim instead. Going all the way deep into the Tier 3 tower, they get the Telekinesis, and Thug, as well as Modder, will be able to combine their damage to bring down that support. That's 30 seconds. They can go ahead and try for a push. Unfortunately, they pushed all the way in. And their only real opportunity to go for any objective, I guess, would be through mid. That tier 2 is still up at the bottom lane, with the lane being pushed off by Resolution. Jump in. Moon Meander managed to catch Madara, but immediately turned around on Spike Hairface and an Impale. There's just no damage there from DC. Now, at Venom, just going to keep on going. They found their opportunity to be able to go on DC once again, diving into Misery deep underneath the tier 3 tower. But now, Madara is oh, going to be deep. comboed up. Weeha with the Dragon Tail. Resolution provides the damage. And now, at Venom will overstep themselves. Oh. Oh, no! It doesn't oh. get Spartan. That extra kill was critical. Still, though, Weeha has a Blink Dagger. Thug is going to have to make himself a TP out, but Weeha's going to be able to see him. They get the stun. Can they actually bring down this tanky beast, though? He has so much magic armor and so much regular armor. When they don't have those smokes, the map control, the vision, very favorable for Adfinim. They can scout with the Nyx Assassin. They've got the gem now on the Enigma as well. Resolution. He's gonna be, gonna up be here. able to get this. Spartan can lead with the black hole. They got him with the impale. Black hole combination. Resolution is done. And Venom bring him down for 60 seconds. We've been playing a bit. It's laying out the damage. He's got the hyper stone, not the full out AC just yet. But they are still chunking this tier three tower down pretty quick. Moon Meander. Very they're gonna try and wait it out. Not sure if they want to stick around too much longer, but Morphing five seconds till he's back. Five seconds and an initiation about to come through. Weeha leads with a stun onto Madara, forces out the rage. Now with the rage going down, they manage to pull back Madara, but again, the Nyx disaster with the spike hair face is there. Madara will manage to infest inside a creep and he has the Aegis ready to go. Add Venom will take the melee racks and be very happy with that. They may still try and fight though now that they have the high ground advantage. As DT comes forth, there goes Chaotic Offering onto three, but still Weeha just can't output the damage. Nice double stun. Once again, Skylar comes through in the clutch. They take down the Aegis of the, the Light. Steal it, but it doesn't really matter. And Venom are still full five man up, and in the background, no less retreat. Soxa can't even get back to the fountain. Bug managed to pick him up, and now they can turn their attention towards a tier three at mid. Creeping when the fight broke out, he pops out. He's like, "Oh, here's a back. Here's a here's a warlock. I've just killed your back lines, who normally it's hard to get to." DC making it easy for Ed Venom to take that fight, even without the black hole. The sustain just too much. And oh, jump forward, okay. nice pick off there on the Rubik. That's one way to scare Ed Finn back. Okay. Weeha looking for more here, but still can't find it. Moonmeander can jump forward again. The Spike hair face does manage to claim him. All the heroes of Ed Finn turn their attention towards that Batrider, blow him up real quick. And Weeha, again, he just bought back. He does have no items whatsoever. He really can't output the damage. That's all on resolution. He comes forward with the BKB. They almost bring down Spartan. Looks like they should be able to after that ethereal frame. And Misery goes down as Thug just rips him apart with all that pure damage. Modern is going to be the next target of resolution. Rage goes down and infest inside Thug, who is practically unkillable. So Thug is just going to make his escape for it. The life stealer. DC can't possibly keep up with the mobility of the Timber Saw at this point. Way to put together their team fight. Guarantee that Morphling can, can burst here. He's got buyback for this fight as well, which is going to be important if he wants to fully commit in first. There goes the jump. They managed to get Madara before the Lotus Orb. They're going to be able to pull him back a decent distance. Double four stabs all the way into the tier four towers. Fortunately, Madara is tanky and he has that Aegis. So he does manage to get the infest inside Skylark. But now Skylark's going to be target. He immediately gets blown up and Madara is going to be slowed down by this upheaval. Fortunately, a four staff will come out, gets him a little bit more distance. So if he does die, and Finnem can try and formulate some sort of response, but there's on cooldown. That's the one big threat to the life steal. They've still got 15 seconds, but one of the shorter cooldown ultimates and all right, Madara's Lotus Orb in. and a Rage. They very quickly take down this melee Rax. Now, Madara may be gone on as he backs himself away. The Rage now gone, and the upheaval is slowing him down. News come forward, but a four staff save once again from Ad Finnem. Safe and calculated Dota. This is a team normally like known for their aggression, but their high ground siege has been done in a very clean way. Tier 3 going to fall fast. Again, DZ kind of have to wait out until both the Rage and the Lotus Orb have faded, but the damage is already done. Misery once again becomes a target, and there is the appropriate response from DC. Now oh, the target comes forward, but this time around, the Lotus Orb does manage to catch 
Moonmander holding himself in place, and Madara has just ripped them apart as the lasso fades. Now double talk on Fox, the black hole! He got him! DC responds with a chaotic offering! A chaotic offering turned used by maybe next time! He turns it against Digital Chaos, and DC begin to fall! Weeha right in the front is gonna bring tickets to his own death! No, he actually turns! He's armletting, and he's gonna be able to fight against Spartan! And Spartan making his way out will be able to take away from Misery as well, but Thug, he moves forward, goes for Resolution! Resolution has to make his way back to the fountain somehow, as Thug trying to cut him off will manage to slow him down with this Scotty! This death is so important! for Thug if he can actually get the appropriate pure damage. He moves forward, chalk him out, but they are getting so many heroes on the backside. Weeha's gonna die again. Madara, blink away. Weeha managed to make his way out. Thug, careful with that fountain. That is not your base, my friend. Digital Chaos will call it in the end. And Venom. When Greek. does it stop? I don't know. I don't know. When does this Greek Lightning team stop? They have already broken it. Yeah. Don't they, they already so. have all three of their cores though? Who? DC? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, at Finn, yeah, could, yeah, could yeah. finish oh, up with, uh, wow, what is this oh, Timber Saw again. Timber! Like, safe lane Timber. Oh. He's now got level 2, which means Janad. He hasn't skilled it yet, but you want to kind of keep the keep it option options open. Shrukan toss for the ganks is a little bit better, but... Misery gonna be the target here. Does have to roll himself away. Nice block by Spartan. This will be your first blood. Now they turn their attention towards Weeha. Weeha's gonna be forced to use the wind run. Maybe next time is soaking up whatever free experience he can get. Looks like they are going to be giving up this tier 1 tower. A kick back there at top lane. Misery is in a bit of trouble. Will manage to roll himself out of there, but... Madara is just hoping to be able to, to, as you said, tank up and push down this tower. Bottom lane to begin to go on maybe next time. Maybe next time's already gotten a lot of damage onto Zoxa. So they're going to be able to get the double stun. They actually can kill Resolution as well. Holy cow, that a big play there from Ad Venom. They wanted to defend uh, defend their top T1 tower while taking bottom. That was why Earth Spirit TP'd up top. But as soon as Ad Venom see that, they're engaging on bottom. Like, okay, there's no Earth Spirit here. Without that sun silence, we can fight. And they get a decent amount of damage. The spin does come out, though. There's no Omni Slash. This is dangerous. Rizzo could be in trouble. Yeah, he does have the Rubik coming in with the Telekinesis. That'll put a stop to it. They have the Healing Ward out, and they should be fine now. Actually, maybe not. Resolution is going to be wrapped around Han. They do have the Ravage. Barely managed to save him in time. Resolution taunting Madara. He does manage to get away. Maybe next time throws out the Shuriken, and they do finally finish him off. He got Madara. Korea. Now he has to try and get himself away with the Timber Chain up against Moon Meander and the Rubik. The Telekinesis is ready to go. Madara realizes that, and that's why he's just trying to eat his way through the trees. As soon as he's tries to Timber Chain, he's going to be caught. So he pines himself deeper and deeper. TP's out. Maybe next time he'll be the target instead. DC will just have to take that kill instead. But the escape of the Timber Saw is huge. As that core does not want to die. Nice pick up by Skylark in the end. As they managed to get the Rubik in exchange. Ad Finum making clean exchanges here against Digital Chaos. Don't know exactly where. Will he walk into the Sentry Ward? He's just enjoying the bit of experience that he's gleaning from that camp. But the Nixus has to be caught. Spike Carapace does go down. That could be huge. He turns around, misses the impale on the socks, though, but he'll still go down as MNT cleans it up from the right hand side. Resolution, his bin right wears out, and Madara can come in and easily finish off that Juggernaut. Juggernaut just keeps on getting traded away in these side lane engagements. Ad Finum every single time seem prepared for the Juggernaut and being able to finish him off on the offset of engagement. Madara is just. Getting a big and once again, again every single around. game. Slowed down by the gush, already hit by a power shot. This should be a very easy kill for DC and no response whatsoever from Ad Finum. They instead claim that tier one tower at top. Maybe next time. Okay. They can't actually kill Moon Meander with Top these two, but they can go ahead and take oh. all of this. They are going to be able to get the, the roll and the spin TP okay. out, so both of them will be fine. Ogre's going to be caught here. Go ahead and turn around, give them Gush. They also have a Shackle Shot ready to go. They're just going to try and trade one for one, but they can't even get the Ogre. He's too damn fast. With the track kill and the maxed out Bloodlust, Ogre runs absurdly quick. 475 movement speed. Shuriken on the Moon Meander brings him a little bit lower. Are they actually going to be able to do anything about this? They're waiting for another assassin. Assassinate, they might just be able to finish him off with that magic damage, but here comes the mech, and they go in a bit too deep. The Timber Saw is here, maybe he can get the turnaround kill, does manage to block him out. The Shuriken goes down, but still. 
A big win there for Ad Finim Shirley with the extra help of Track Kill Gold, and they're going to be able to take some of these bigger ancients. Yeah, that's really nice for them. Madara able just to sit there tanking. Nick's and assassin. He oh, appears. Boy. We are right outside of the tier one tower range. Does get caught. Moon Meander. He TP's in, but. He can do nothing to save his ally as Ad Finim have clear control over DC's map. Seeing those movements and having sentries to snipe those annoying pesky roamers, Finim will always see when the five man tide is coming and just avoid it. This is what you're going to do though, you're going to smoke and catch Ad Finim by surprise. They're going to wrap around here, Ravage ready to go, they're going to lead off with the gush on a Skylark. Moon Meander puts himself in position, ready to go with that Ravage. He wants to be able to deal with the Timbers on the right hand side, they get the stone onto him and Timber will be brought down, but at the same time they're going to lose their Rubik and Finim will get another Another bounty kill off of that one. He's already respawned, and they, Ed Venom will just look to take this fight now. Yeah, with the Ravage down, they, I don't think there's any way that DC can hold this tier one tower anymore, unless maybe with an Ogre kill. Spin onto him with a Shackle Shot on the side. Skylark's also going to go down. Disaster strikes as Ad Venom surely were in the advantage to be able to push down this tier one tower, but losing two of their allies is going to cost them this push. You lose a fight? Well, let's just go again. Let's just keep on running at you, trying and playing this scrappy, brawling style Dota. Ad Venom. Lose a fight versus the Ravage, they know it's now on cooldown, they take a T1 nice tower pick and... up. The Assassinate yep. leads into a double damage from maybe next time, he's able to get the kill on Soxa on the way out. Now Skylark's in behind the tower. Oh, they're gonna be able to get Weeha as well, We He gets caught by the Impale and assassinated by Thug! Now the pull up, Misery gonna have to roll away, will manage to get over the cliff. Resolution right in the middle of all these heroes, he'll take the Courier, thank you very much, TP's out. Physical damage is a little bit there from Ad Finim, but not even close to bringing down a tanky juggernaut. Strategic value of these towers. Looks like you are completely correct. Well, maybe. Tier 2 for Tier 2, but DC are actually smoked up. They're going to try and TP in with the Juggernaut, leading things off. Man, the Blink 4. They managed to get the Ravage onto 2. Already starting things off on the Timber side. They're trying to control him with the Silence and the help of the Earth Spirit, but a nice dunk comes in from behind. Skylark hits 2. They've already picked off the Rubik, and now they're going to be able to get so much more coming for Taka, and there it is. The Timber Saw's damage will force DC to retreat. They have so much magnetized, but it doesn't matter with that pipe. Chaka, man, they caught him. Moon Meander goes down as well. The first core from DC in this fight falls, and a timber chain forward for them to finish off this tier two. Their sniper is beginning to climb the ranks into real damage here, and he's already such a hard hero to hit thanks to that Hurricane Pike. The wrap around see. here is so essential, but Skylark is going to be running into all these heroes. He's got the initiation on the Moon Meander. Misery comes in with a nice kick and a silence if we will follow that one up. They manage to burst down one. Nyx Assassin gets off the spike hair base towards the end, but here comes the big Chalkum combination. He brings down the Rubik, looks towards Misery next. That's going to be helped out by maybe next time as he managed to get a track onto him. They'll get that second support. Skylark once again going for the early buyback. You see this, Ad Finim are so committed. Overly concerned about that buyback cooldown. DC, are they going to be able to contest this? They have the Blink Daggers, they have Ravage ready to go. They just do not have that Omni Slash. That physical damage is critical, but if they can start it with a pickoff, maybe next time does get a four staff. That's a little bit of help. Madara comes forward. Chakram onto the two supports. He's going to chase away this Rubik, force him to telekinesis, but they also have the Assassinate. If they can actually just run him down, that'll already be a numbers advantage. Misery a little bit too late on the kick there. Well, another track means they've got vision of him. Left hand side, they're chasing down this Juggernaut. They're going to be able to get the Shuriken bounce, and they get both. They chase Yikes. down the Earth Spirit, they bring down the Juggernaut, the much more important kill between the two. The Tier 3 tower is almost gone, he has to go back to the fountain, they still have 10 more seconds until the Juggernaut is back up. DC are just kind of poking and prodding, but ultimately they can't really fight until this Juggernaut is up. They be needing to focus down on this melee rack, but here comes the initiation by Misery getting out the impale. Chakram finishes him down. Misery doesn't manage to get anything off the tight on right in the middle of all this. He throws down his Ravage to Blink Forward. They're going for the Cypher, but Hurricane Pike, it puts him ahead of this Omni Slash, and now the initiation is gone from DC. They missed their opportunity, and now Sniper is going to be able to hoo hoo ha ha his way through this. They've got the Snipe assassinate. We almost finished off. Tight owner goes down. DC lose three, and here comes the buyback. Jerking on with the Omni Slash, but it's just used to save his own life. He does doesn't have anything. He's gone as well. No buyback there. Four up from Digital Chaos, but they do not have their Juggernaut to defend. The Maelstrom giving him the extra damage he needs, the extra range from the Hurricane Pike, and this front line of Ogre, Timbersaw, Nyx Assassin is just brutal. Anyone you go on is getting full stuffed around, healed up by the mech. At this point, DC are just running out of options. Stolen Impale. 
Zoxa, he needs every little bit of help he can get. Pulls him back into the tier 4 towers with the help of the stun. They get a lot of damage onto him. Misery hopes to be able to couple with that one. Jump forward, Moon Meander actually with the help of Shackershot almost finishes off Skylark. They manage to bring down Wind Ranger though, and that is so bad. Digital Chaos, they still do not have a big damage dealer. And Madara, he's just cleaning up heroes. They're going for the back line. Thug is the target. They gush him off, trying to run him down. They get more damage out, but it's just Moon Meander against the world. All of Adfinim are here, and Moon Meander begins to get kited around. Saga, one step ahead, daring the Leviathan to come at him, but it's done! DC are gone! And Adfinim, they're going to the Grand Finals! I mean, 